Yeah. Well, it, it, if it didn't exist, it would be way more interesting than Bigfoot. Yeah. Right? Like everybody's like so into Bigfoot being real. Like, yeah. What, I don't get Bigfoot. Is, can you talk to me about that? Like, <laughs> sure. I do you think what what is what's the concept of Bigfoot? Um, I mean, I know. Okay, it's a big hairy guy, but yeah. What I mean, really? Come on. What is it? Most likely, there was interaction between human beings and something called the Gigantopithecus for thousands and thousands of years. It's a giant bipedal hominid that existed in asia that was between eight and ten feet tall it was real mm -hmm. and it was basically in like the orangutan family it looks almost orangutan like but enormous and that was a real thing okay and they didn't find out about this until like the 1920s they found a tooth in an apothecary shop in china and uh an anthropologist examined this tooth it was like where the fuck did you get this and they they took them to the site and they dug up more things and bones and jaw bones and they determined from the jawbone. i'm sorry if i'm fucking any of the sub scientists but they determined from the jawbone that they think it was bipedal that it stood up on two legs mm -hmm. and so then they said well how big would this thing be and then in the proportionate yeah like the femur bone or have you ever seen what one a real one looks like yeah, yeah. i just sometimes I, I when they say like oh up in michigan i'm like is it really like what are they seeing bullshit most of it is the people seeing shadows in the trees and they want to believe it's bigfoot and they're seeing yeah. bears that are walking on two legs but if there was a thing, what's really interesting is that's where it would be. Because if it did come across the, Laring, the, the Bering land bridge, like they believe humans did, if that did happen, the many animals met and navigated from there to here that way, that's where Alaska and the Pacific Northwest, that would be the, the natural path. Mm -hmm. And then if you think about how densely wooded that area is, right. that would be a natural habitat for something that's hiding from people. The problem is you can't really hide from shit anymore. It's just it's I don't think too so. hard. They'd see you from space, right? Some, something would catch you on a trail camera. Some There's trail cameras that are everywhere. They're 4K. Like, did you see those? These A guy and his father got caught poaching a mother bear in her den. It's ew. It's horrific. It's horrible. And it's not just horrible because they they poached this mother bear in their den and left the, the babies essentially to die. But they were talking about how they're not going to get caught doing it. Like no, no one's going to tie us to this. And the way they were caught, there was a 4K camera that was right behind them that was that was observing this this whole area where mm -hmm. this this bear was denned in they have these trail cameras now that are incredibly accurate they're so like it's so high definition right. and super clear and the audio is clear they would catch one of those fucking things yeah if there was something out it there would, they would see know. something but i think there is something to be said for the tooth fairy and thinking we don't know everything yeah like the the, the magic of st stuff unknown and behind i i mean it, for me, it doesn't have to be Bigfoot, but I, I love I love the idea that we haven't seen everything. We don't know everything. No. And obviously, we know that with space and who knows, you know, dimensions and time and universe. Mm. But something mythical is pretty fun. Well, what's interesting is that there was a bunch of different kinds of humans. That's what's interesting. Right. And they found these bones in Russia that I think they call them the Denisovians. They, they found a, a set, this is within the last 10, 15 years, they found a completely different species of humans that lived in Russia. They found those little people on the island of Flores. Right. That was only like 10 years ago. I mean, there's there's probably dozens more that they just haven't uncovered somewhere. So if there was at one point in time some big giant hominid, it's totally possible. Yeah. I just don't think, he would have to eat so much. To right, be alive today, feet, yeah. to be constantly, it's like a bear. Yeah, like you find bear shit everywhere. Where's the where's the gorilla shit? Where's yeah. the, the the Bigfoot shit? Right. Or whatever it is, is it, eat, is it eating plants? Is it eating animals? What the fuck is it eating? Right, it's got to well, eat a lot. 